you why I'm very lucky I have a very patient wife and daughter <laughs> doing this crap. <laughs> Hey, hey, good morning. It's your girl, Andrea. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 to tag. I'm on my own today, so I'm not taking a couple of them because they are spicy. So unless I get really lucky, I ain't gonna touch this lady. If you guys remember my video last year that my husband almost got taken out and he screamed like a little girl, that's this cow. Um, so unless her baby happens to be in the cabin pen where I get really lucky, I ain't gonna worry about it, um, but I am gonna try to tag pretty much everybody else. So, <laughs> one con of Miss Jen is that it's modified live, so I have to mix the blue sterile diluent with the powder for every single dose. That's why I was going for a 10 dose, but um, I'll just do all of these individually, which is, I mean, it's fine. And then I'll load them into the auto syringe. That way it's easy. Yeah, there's all the liquid. And then I'll shove her in there, and then it'll mixy mixy, and I'll do another one. So we kind of had a, well, my last vlog that I filmed um, ended last night, before dark, obviously. Um, and we had two more calf before I even went home. I stayed, I could have just kept it going, I guess. Um, one of my cows, 1801, and then our original only like solid face Baldy before we bought all those West River, South Dakota cows. Um, she calved as well. So they both had babies on their own, all as well. Um, no additional set of twins since yesterday. And then there was two last night and both of those cows are kind of a little much. Um, 209 is just a lot of like talk for a couple of days and then she gets over it. 30 she's a jerk face so uh, she's on the call list at some point if we have like some extra cows sitting around she's also in the spicy pen because we knew what she was like so there's that but i know i've answered the questions of what we use for vaccinations in a vlog a while ago but i'll do it again since not everyone watches every vlog I'm talking to you I'm just kidding um so the blue one that i just mixed up is nasal in 3 p.m h that is a all things respiratory. It's actually intranasal, which is where they call it nasal gin. Um, and it's got that blue dye, so you know that they've just had it. It's really nice um, in general. So that's all things respiratory. So that's every respiratory thing under the sun. It covers modified live, in the nose, one less poke. I really, 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 really like it. The one that I just filled is tetanus. So it's Vision C, D, and T. So just because we have tetanus in our soil, um and we banned calves we like to cover our bases with tetanus and then this is vision seven so vision seven is a seven way for black leg cluster deals c and d um all of those things uh, we do have black leg in our soil so that's why we hit this one right away because i don't want to deal with that so those are the three bases we cover. Uh, we do not touch our calves again with any sort of treatment, um, unless it's like they're sick or something, um, until weaning. I think I'm gonna attach you to my little chest mount today. Um, let's see what sort of tagging content we can get there. It's really cute to wear, but I'm doing it for you, so. All right, let's get it got all the things I need. Go see what kind of danger we can get into. You are not calving. I think she is. So this little one over there, that baldy with one horn, she's kind of a jerk too. So far she's been terrified of us, but I think that's going to change. Let's go tag some babies. I'm coming for you first. Just because I knew I would be able to tell whose baby this is. Yep, that's a girl. I'm gonna do your baby next, okay? Yeah, it's a little heifer. Hi. You're fine. You're fine. You're okay. I'm guessing this is a boy. 
No, it's just a big heifer. Twenty three oh nine. There's two in here. <sighs> What's happening? I think that's two thousand seven. Yeah. You want a heifer too? What is this, huh? Come on. Hi, it's a baby. Folks, we're going to one of my cows. She might be a little much because her calf is loud. And she's running away. Find your kid. Go away. So this is my old lady Moonlight's grandbaby. She's two days old now. And normally she screams bloody murder. So this is... This is going well. See you later. That's another new baby, the brown thing. And then 30's baby. Are we in the calving pen? I'm gonna have to go look. I'm gonna have to go look. If our baby is in the calving pen, we are, we are in the calving pen. Okay. okay. Woo! Good morning, 30. <laughs> Gotta pick up all my stuff. We made a mess. But honestly, that's okay because I'm gonna get to tag this jerk face's calf. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, it's a boy. Such a nice lady. Wow. Wow. Really? I'm gonna bring you your kid. I'm gonna leave him in here. He'll figure it out. See you later. This is gonna be too easy too. Maybe. I'm good. Okay, there's two in here. I gotta tag yet then. But I gotta go make sure the bunk is clear first. Hi, twinsies. There's two in here I have to tag, but it'll probably be a tomorrow project when I have assistance. And then obviously the twins. We're waiting to make sure that she's gonna keep both for sure. But they're both doing well, so. I just made sure nobody, no calves were right by the bunk gonna get squished. Dad's gonna come feed, and then I'll tag my last two. And go from here is really nice. <laughs> but that was stellar let me tell you what getting two of the spicy mamas too easy i love it i love this barn for that reason get out of here everybody else looks good all right let's tag 209 Your head fits through the gate, huh? Nice of you. All I have to do is spray the table and we're done. Gross, get out of the way. Back up. 
Time for good measure. Okay, you can have him. See you later. It's warming up. We're gonna have one nice day and then we're in for some cold and snow. So, our talking this weekend could be probably when you watch this video. Um, they're not super confident yet, but <laughs> if it goes a certain track, we could get a foot of snow. So, <laughs> that's exciting. We do need the moisture though, so it's what it is. All the cows that have to calve are in the barn. All their pairs are outside in the back shed. Uh, has some cows that hasn't calved yet, but. We should be fine. Um, so, I don't know how I got that lucky tagging though. What a time. Hey girls. So I just gotta make sure all of these babies are out of the way because we added some more yesterday. Dad's gotta grind hay today. So we're gonna hook this up and pull it all up there. And I need to move my vehicle so I don't get full of hay dust. So this is all grass hay we have. Alfalfa up there and a bunch of corn stalks up there as well. And then we'll go and hook it up there for him. And I am going to open the curtain just a little bit. Oh. What'd you find on your magnet on the feeder wagon? In this episode. Old chain? I don't know if it could be from a horse, for a horse thingy. I don't know. Some really heavy oh. metal that, I don't know, must be bin metal. And some tin. Oh, this is, yeah, that's some old stuff. So that's why we have oh. magnets on the feeder wagon. That's why you paid big money to add those to them. They were not cheap, but these are off the big one on the onload. They were on the, the other one. Yeah, the discard. Huh. Look at that. All right, throw it away. <laughs> you know, this hair is just iconic. Anyways, um, gonna get dad in this back shed. These are some later bred cows, but with moisture coming, rain, snow, whatever it is, we gotta just scrape and pile. There's this much manure on the ground here that's all dry. You add water to it, well guess what? It's gonna expand and get like a whole bunch of volume. So if I make it into a pile, it'll be less muddy in this yard. Dad's a... Uh sciatic nerve is bothering him so he was like can you let me in so I don't have to get out of the scooter and I said yep and my cow has not calved yet so she's not really progressing I'm gonna give her another like 20 minutes and then I'm gonna check and see what the heck's going on I can't tell if she's just like not getting down to business or if like baby's something's off. So we'll see. Dad's like, what if it's another set of twins? And I was like, man, I hope not. Cause she's a jerk. I don't like this cow at all. I am getting everything set up in here because I'm gonna have to check her. Cause she's not progressing. is backwards and potentially upside down might just be backwards <sighs> can't feel a lot but she's ready the baby's just coming in the wrong direction so we're gonna have to help Welcome to the ugly 
out of his mouth. Yeah. We had a lot of ground gooey stuff. Yeah, it's the poop down. Uh, you don't want to try it. It's, it's kind of cool how he, he did it's turn just, around. Yeah, but that's why you don't put the cash back on because this one, um, they can do that. Gotta breathe. Don't put him in recovery position. Never, ever, ever been upset. Look at the baby. There we go. I am glad that I trusted my gut on that one because that baby needed some help. Um, it was not a hard pull though. And in that circumstance, um, first, he must have not been totally upside down but just twisted enough or like sideways where his butt was, I don't know. He was presenting backwards and upside down when I checked. It took me a while to figure out what the heck was going on. Um, so in that instance, you don't want to use a calf jack if they actually are fully upside down because that downward pressure will snap their spine. So um, I put the chains on in a way that actually, if he wanted to turn, they would kind of help him twist and come out not upside down, still backwards because we had the back feet, but he just popped out like it was nothing. So good deal because I was like, if he doesn't come out easy, I'm going to have to call the vet because I'm not putting a calf jack on and breaking his back. Um, but she had plenty of room in there. She's an older cow. Not out of the woods because he did defecate poop in his, in the birth canal. So he is full of poop all over um so if he actually ingested any of that or breathed any of it in he could have more problems but i'll keep you posted she's going to work cleaning them off uh, we're gonna let him hang out for a while with her um but i cleared his lungs put him in the recovery position dad talked about hanging him upside down that is the old way of doing things do not ever hang a calf upside down if you have cattle that is one of the worst things now the old timers did it um, even like five, ten years ago, that was, I mean, ten years ago, it was still the thing. You're better off putting them in a recover position, which means putting them on their chest, back feet under them, kind of square, so they're sitting on all four, not to the side, and just kind of sitting all of their legs underneath of them, so they're on their breasts, facing forward, and can breathe. That is the recover position. Do not hang them upside down. Do not swing them. Um, it's not good for them. So, dad learned today, <laughs> but got it, so... Thumbs up for that. <laughs> Mom's gone and this is what happens. Uncalled for, I helped you. Sitting up nicer now. Good job. You're a jerk. I wasn't sure if she was gonna be spicy or not. She is. <laughs> 484 sitting in here like what? <sighs> Cows. Just watered our twin mama. We still have them in their pen. So she said food water. Uh, probably let them out maybe tomorrow after I tag them. Trying to make this little turd get up once. You're fine. Good. Oh, oh. There we go. There we go. Just needed some encouragement. Great bed in the back shed. His dad scraped the entire thing out. And I'm feeding modified to friends. Open dumb dumb nurse because it's been a while. Dad's here for moral support. And she tried to eat me, so there's that. This is why I'm very lucky I have a very patient wife and daughter like <laughs> doing this crap. <laughs> Most guys like me don't like doing this stuff. Yeah. Take a toll. <laughs> <laughs> I know a few that are good at it, but. Dad's good with equipment, I'm good with calves. The one thing you got going for you, you have a lot of milk. I got a cow and pin six working on Kevin. I just went and checked on her. doing a number on my hair um cute little body baby body body baby on the ground and she's gonna be feisty too but he's on the ground all good well the dogs and i are uh, headed home there's nothing going on in the barn at this moment but 
things can change very quickly in mom's on night shift tonight. Well, that's a day in the life and the chaos of Kevin season, getting lucky, tagging some cows from some not so happy moms in really easy circumstances and then dealing with a calf coming in the birth canal and a spicy cow in the wrong direction. If you have any questions, let me know. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.